It's the last WWE pay-per-view of the calendar year. The Raw exclusive that is WWE's Roadblock End of the Line pay-per-view. This is the predictions video for you. Hi, welcome to Steve Chats Wrestling. Hashtag SCW, the wrestling channel here on YouTube.com. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video. Subscribe right now. Leave your comments in the comments section, especially your predictions. Like and share the video as well. Getting straight into it then with the pre-show match, Big Kaz versus Rusev. Rusev has been uh, destroying Enzo in the build-up. In the sort of less P kind of storyline building up to this event it looks like that for me there's only one result that will come with this Big Cass will get the revenge WWE also very high on Big Cass Vince McMahon expected to be a keen admirer of his so I'm expecting Big Cass to pick up the victory and could this be the first of perhaps a few steps along the line to Big Cass becoming a full time singles wrestler we'll have to wait and see but I don't think it will be in the short term uh, perhaps in the long term but I expect Big Cass to beat Rusev secondly we'll go on to the main show then and the first match of the main show we'll look at is Seth Rollins and Chris Jericho not really invested in this too much um, they've had multiple matches on Raw recently there's only one way that this match can go for me on a pay-per-view standpoint Seth Rollins to pick up the victory over Jericho with the pedigree um, would be interesting if Kevin Owens tries to interfere again maybe cause miscommunication further between him and uh, uh, Owens and Jericho we'll have to wait and see what happens but I expect Rollins to pick up the victory it's the only logical thing for me that makes sense the second match we'll look at is Sami Zayn versus Braun Strowman Mick Foley finally made in the match uh, this week on Raw. Uh, Sami Zayn's got 10 minutes with Strowman after Strowman said he wouldn't last two minutes. In true WWE fashion, I think that this means there's only one way this will go. Um, I think that uh, Sami Zayn will last almost 10 minutes and then fall at the final hurdle. Sami Zayn, after all, is the nearly man. He doesn't quite get it done, but of course it's to get the fans behind him, to root behind him further. Will it make him look weak or not? It'd be the way that WWE delivers this, but of course uh, he'll be ever so close to beating uh, the 10 minutes with Braun Strowman, but uh, will fall at the last hurdle. That's my prediction. Strowman to pick up the victory, and uh, let's see how this is executed on Sunday. Next is the triple threat match for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. It's been a hot potato so far. The belt has gone to all the competitors that are in this match so far. We've got the current champion, Rich Swan, the Brian Kendrick, and TJ Perkins. I'm expecting Rich Swan to pick up the victory and I think this will probably be um, one of the highlights on the show I think that this has got potential to be a good match so I'm looking forward to it and uh, should be good storylines in this and uh, hopefully some good high flying action as well I know it's a little bit more tamed down from the Cruiserweight Classic way back when but um, hopefully this still can deliver on pay-per-view and Rich Swan will walk away with the championship retained Next is the Raw Tag Team Championships, the New Day against Cesaro and Sheamus. Now, the New Day have broken the record, so this means now any time the New Day could actually lose the belts now. It's not a guarantee they will keep them anymore. Personally, for me, I'm going to give my viewpoint. Um, I think the New Day should keep the belts for just a little while longer if it was me. They've beaten everybody, and you could argue where is there anywhere for them to go after this if they do actually win on Sunday against Cesaro and Sheamus. I mean, of course, there's Enzo and Big Kaz, but I think that that match could happen at WrestleMania. I don't think it would be as soon as the Royal Rumble. American Alpha may be down the line, but of course they're on SmackDown. So New Day have really done it all as a team. So maybe, just maybe... Uh, with the rumours are suggesting that Cesaro and Sheamus are quite high on the WWE radar. So I'm going to say that I think the New Day should win this, just purely because I think they should go through the calendar year and lose it to Enzo and Kaz at the Rumble. Um, but I actually think that Cesaro and Sheamus are going to walk away the Raw Tag Team Champions. And uh, I think that uh, then, of course, storylines will actually move forward with the Tag Team Division. It might be a bit more rescued. So maybe, just maybe, it won't be a bad result if that does happen after all. I've been saying for a long time the New Day need to drop the belts. Um, but of course now they've done the record they can do I just don't know if it's a slap in the face if they lose the belts five days after breaking the record uh, if it's a slap in the face of the demolition but uh, in the meantime I do think it'll be the right move for them to drop the belts I do think that Cesaro and Sheamus will actually win the match so there we have it Next is the Iron Man match for the Raw Women's Championship. It must be the thousandth time they've been in the ring together. But you know what? I kind of still enjoy when it tends to happen. We've got Charlotte and Sasha Banks. Um, I, we see my pattern here always developing. Sasha wins the belt on Raw. She loses it on pay-per-view. This Iron Man match is going to be similar to the style of what they did with Sasha Banks and Bayley at NXT. Respect. Um, I'm expecting though, Charlotte to pick up the victory in this match. I'm expecting it to be three falls for two. Um, I think personally I'd be more in preferable of a 1-1 a one, one and a late 2-1 decider. Um, but uh, I think that it's going to be three two. I think Charlotte is a guarantee to win this match and uh, she'll keep her pay-per-view record intact. I think that that's going to drop to Bailey when they perhaps eventually at this moment meet at WrestleMania. Last but certainly not least, we then have uh, Roman Reigns, the United States Champion, going for the Universal Championship, and can he take away from Kevin Owens? 
Now, there were a lot of rumours going around that Roman Reigns is going to be a double champion in WWE, that he will actually beat Kevin Owens this Sunday. And, of course, he did hold up both belts over Kevin Owens on Raw. Um, it'd be interesting to see what happens after the live event last week where Kevin Owens actually had to go at a kid and the mum responded on social media. Will there be any punishment for that? We'll have to wait and see. My personal feeling is that normally the, the standard rule is what happens on the Raw before the event. Normally it's the reverse at the event. And I think that this is all still a ruse with Owens and Jericho. Of course, we had the time where they looked like they were going to fall out on Raw over one night and blow Roman Reigns. Now they've done it over several weeks. And I do think, actually, although there may be a mishap earlier in the evening to cost Jericho his match, I think that Jericho will come good and that their best friends will remain united to go through the roadblock end of the line pay-per-view and Kevin Owens will remain champion. For me as well, with the Seth Rollins and Triple H view, which is going to happen definitely at the start of 2017, for that to remain creditable and actually worthy, Kevin Owens needs to remain the Universal Champion. So I think he's going to hold the belt to at least the Royal Rumble. So I'm going to go for KO to pick up the victory, although I don't expect him to do it cleanly. So there we have it. That is my WWE Roadblock end of the line predictions for you there. Do you like these predictions? What are your predictions? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, like and share the video as well. And uh, remember, you've been watching SCW, the wrestling channel here on YouTube.com. Thank you for being a part of this, and uh, I will see you next time. Enjoy the pay-per-view, and I'll see you next time here on SCW.